Right, um, so this is problem 3.3 now. We've just been through 3.2 um, and it asked us to work out what the final speed, well, the speed once these boxes have rolled or slid down the slope one meter, this one has slid down one meter and this one has slid up one meter and it's asked us to calculate the velocity, which we did. Um, assuming that there were no conservative no non-conservative forces but this time in 3.3 it's asking us to consider a kinetic friction between the boxes and the, and the inclined surfaces so we know that the drag force sorry the friction force is equal to minus because it's in the direction opposite to motion um, the kinetic um, friction coefficient mu k multiplied by the normal reaction and I think we showed that we did show that in uh, lecture 3 so we're going to use that in this part of the question but the starting point is the statement of conservation of energy but with non-conservative forces and that's introduced also in lecture three and let me show you the summary slide uh, there it is um, the potential energy let me just put a box around that the potential energy plus the kinetic energy um, plus the work done by non-conservative forces on the boxes uh, that's u12 is equal to V2 plus T2, potential energy at state two plus the kinetic energy at state two. Now, the same as in the last part of the question, initially they're at rest, so the kinetic energy is zero, and we'll define the datum for each box such that the potential energy of the uh, boxes are both equal to zero, so that's also equal to zero. Um, so what we have to do now um, is to find um, what u12 is uh, we've got v2 and t2 from the previous question so because it slid down one meter so the potential energy is going to be the same at state two as it was in the last question I'm just reading that off what we got a minute ago it's minus 10.36 Newton meters and T2 um, is equal to 5.097 V2 squared. And that's just from the last part of the question. So we've got that and we've got that which we can so we, we want to find the speed obviously at position 2 so we need now to know what the work done is on both boxes so let's split it up into the work done uh, between those two states on box A plus the work done on box B. Um, the work done on box A by non-conservative forces, so this one here, if it's moving down the slope this way, so there's going to be a friction force moving in this direction. So, and I'm going to call that FRA, and it's going to be, so it's force times distance with the negative sign indicating that it's removing energy from the system, so it's travelled one metre uh, along uh, in this direction, so that's frictional force times one, and the frictional force using this expression um, actually I shouldn't have I shouldn't have put the negative sign already in there I've already included it down here um, should it equal minus mu k times the normal reaction times 1 and the normal reaction here using a bit of trigonometry so the normal reaction just to remind you it's going to be there so we've got a weight coming down here of 50 newtons 
So the normal reaction is going to be 50 cos 45. So minus the UK and 50 cos 45 times 1. Clear enough? Yeah. Ish. And that is equal to, um, so cos 45 is root 2 over 2. Uh, the, let's go back to the question. It's 0 0.05 is the kinetic friction coefficient. Uh, so minus 0 0.05 times the normal reaction, which is 50 times cos 45. Oh, sorry. That wouldn't have given me the right answer because it's expecting it in radians. So times square root 2 over 2. So that's the work done on, uh, ma on box A by um, non-conservative forces. We can do the same for box B. Um, frictional force on B times 1. It moves the same distance. Um, this is the normal reaction. I should have written that this is the normal reaction of A and this is the normal reaction of B. Minus 1. Normal reaction of B is in that direction there. I've made this a bit of a mess. Um, and that equals um, once we well, let's work out what the normal reaction is. It's um, 50, and this time we want this component down here. It's going to be 50 cos 30. Is that on the right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah 50 cos 30. Um, and that equals, so it's minus point. 0 0.05 is the kinetic friction coefficient times 50 times by cos 30 which is root 3 over 2. So that equals there. equals minus 2.17 Right, so they get added together, that and that. That's answer minus 1.77 gives us minus 2.94 Newton meters. Um, so I've now got everything I need. I can substitute that into there, that into there, that into there. And what we'll be left with is minus 3.94. Uh, that's on the left hand side. And then I'll add V2 to both sides. So that's 0.36. And then I'll divide it all by 5.097. And this will give us, fill it up. V2 squared equals 1.26. Okay, so that means V2 is the square root of that equals 1.13 meters per second, I think. And that's the answer. Okay, great.